you know, and people with CF can also have. I mean, we've heard say that in the open. Yeah. With CF also can. I mean, look at Mary Fry. I mean, yeah. she has problems digesting food. I mean, she has to take all trays. Hey Gala fam, it's Rachel. And Rhea. And we're the Gala sisters. We're actually Irish twins. Yeah, which means we're 15 months apart or less. So guys, it is Monday. Guess what that means? Yes, it is our awareness day. Yes, we chose Mondays as our awareness day. That's going to become important. Please don't forget about that in the future. So, old age. Lupus. Smoking. Fibromyalgia. Drinking. Diabetes, COVID long haulers, endometriosis, fibromyalgia, pancreatic cancer, celiac disease, accidents, cancer, different medications, antidepressants, particularly, mm -hmm. EDS, POTS, radiation, so many others, guys. There's just so many. These are just some of the many reasons why people may get gastroparesis. It's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons. And if there's something in the opening that we touched on later, that we did not in the opening that we touched on later, we apologize for that. This is just something we're trying. Mm -hmm. So with that, we'll, we'll take a look at the different causes of gastroparesis. Yeah, there are so many different causes of gastroparesis. It's one of those disorders, those chronic illnesses that doesn't just spontaneously exist on its own. It is caused usually by another chronic illness. But sometimes, like we said, car accidents or severe accidents can... Old age. Yeah, can damage your vagus nerve, which starts up here and, you know goes throughout your brain and etc. Um, we can show a diagram of it. And it's it's interesting because a lot of doctors don't believe in gastroparesis. No, I mean people literally are starving to death and they're saying, oh well go eat a sandwich, go eat a burger, blah blah blah. No, 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 no. And a lot of people in third world countries where they're not able to get enough food end up with gastroparesis too because they just don't have access to it. No. And then when you try to give them an American diet, they couldn't just dive in and eat a burger. No, and like a big one I think also is COVID long haulers. A lot of you guys are coming out of this and food that you used to be able to eat is making you sick. That's normal. Like what, how, how would you function any other way? Mm -hmm. And you guys are getting freaked out and you're getting worried. Don't worry about it. Yeah, viral infections can cause gastroparesis, and it's, you didn't do anything wrong, and so many people say when people start developing symptoms of gastroparesis, which you can get at any age. Oh, yeah. Oh, just power through it, you know, just try harder to eat those foods, and, I mean, you just can't. No. Another thing, too, it's... It just wreaks havoc on your body, and oh, yeah. it takes a lot of energy, and um, uh, it just takes a lot of effort on your body's part to digest really fibrous foods and dense foods and red meats and stuff like that. I mean, you know, if you think this might be a problem, don't do this on your own. Don't be like, well, I have that. Well, you don't know that. And your body chemistry, as it changes... There's going to be times when your diet needs to be more acidic and times when it needs to be more um, base or neutral. Yeah. So make sure that you are discussing your diet with a nutritionist and getting guidance on that to make sure that you don't cut food out and then become um, vitamin deficient. Yeah. I mean, and people with gastroparesis are already at high risk of being vitamin deficient because our body doesn't absorb the nutrients as well from our food. I mean, 
endometriosis, I think, is kind of like the stemming point where a lot of she and I both have a lot of our issues. I think they come from that endometriosis. It doesn't, it triggers other things that happen within our body. I mean, you guys can see we have endometriosis up here. I think that's where things like our celiac disease, our fibromyalgia, yes, we do have that. We did not celebrate the month, we're in the month with you guys because we did not feel that it was appropriate. You know, and people with CF can also have. I mean, we've heard say that in the open. Yeah. People with CF also can. I mean, look at Mary Fry. I mean, yeah. she has problems digesting food. I mean, she has to take all trays. Yeah. And I'm going to put a minor trigger warning here. Endometriosis is um, endome it's where the endometrial tissue grows where it's not supposed to be. You know, the what you slough off from your womb when you get your period because you didn't get pregnant. Yes. Your body is preparing to get pregnant, and when it doesn't, it sloughs off all that endometrial endometrial tissue, whatever it's called. Endometrial, and I can't say it either. <laughs> I can't even say it. Don't make fun of us for that. And, and that's what a period is. But that tissue grows on our... Whatever. Stomachs and our livers and our appendix and uh, our legs, our hips, our whatever. Lungs. It can get up into your brain. It can be on your bladder. And it's, you could see how this could have caused some problems with your digestion. And, and it, it's safe to watch again. <laughs> You guys, you just got to understand that, like, we're trying to help you guys maybe feel a little bit less alone. And, no, we're not doctors. We're just two girls who have nap camera who have issues. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, smokers and drinkers, you guys have a problem because you're wreaking havoc on your body. You're not going to be able to eat everything that, like, you know, and I, I, we'll be honest with you. We both used to smoke. There, we said it. But we were never alcoholics, and no. we've never smoked a lot. No, that is true. But we have smoked. I mean, most most YouTubers who have will be honest about it. I mean, look at Minnie Mae. She's honest about it. And don't come after me when I say this, but I used to work in a bar, been a bartender. A lot of alcoholics don't eat a lot. No, they don't, actually. That's very true. And a lot of smokers don't either. Like, we would get these people, guys and gals, who would come into the bar at, right after their done with work. Yeah. And then drink alcohol until close at 2 in the morning. So from like uh -huh. 5 p or 6 p in the evening until 2 in the morning. And then they go to work the next day and then they do it all over again. And they wouldn't order any food. That's disgusting. And the thing is, when you have a high tolerance for alcohol, you can handle a lot of alcohol without even showing it. Because it doesn't affect you. Yeah. And I think that... You guys do not realize like how much your body is being damaged, how much, you know, so much of your body is food and nourishment. And if you're just drinking alcohol, you're not giving yourself the nourishment that your body needs. And your body needs the practice to yeah. digest food. It need you it's an it's an organ. It's a muscle. Just like, you know, if you stop running for several months. You can't just go out and run 26 miles again. No. You have to work up to it and tone your body. So if you haven't been eating regularly or enough, you're going to have to retrain your stomach muscle. Now, what happened to us was no fault of our own. No. I mean, we have a lot of these things. You know, we have fibro and endo and celiac disease and, and possible, you know, we have mast cell, you guys, which is a... Um, allergen that basically allergic anything at any time it can just it triggers itself people have been known to die because they have mast cell and they've had problems and they don't know why mm -hmm. and gastroparesis is not an eating disorder no and that's a common misconception that's why a lot of doctors don't take it seriously that's why if you go look over at illness makers they they say people like Amy Lee Fisher made themselves sick, and that is a blatant lie, and you need to shut up if you're spewing that lie. Yeah. Because you're wrong. You're being kind of rude. Mm -hmm. You're making a lot of assumptions. Mm -hmm. Like, gross assumptions, actually. 
don't ever say that, well, if you ate more vegetables and put in the time and effort to eat more healthy, then you wouldn't be so sick. You wouldn't be so chronically sick. You wouldn't have such um, uh, chronic exhaustion. That's bullshit. And this is where we get into reaming our radio, our, our, mm -hmm. our serious sex and radio show host, who still doesn't understand. Shut your damn mouth. Sometimes... My stomach can only handle carbs, like bread yes. or pasta, because it's so gentle on your stomach. And I know for a good diet, you need to have like lentils and Ugh. and peas and carrots and green beans and salad. And I just sometimes we can't eat that. Like right now, if I eat a salad, I probably throw up. Mm, yeah, I probably would. And. That radio talk show host, you're actually doing a lot of harm. You're saying, oh, well, you know, we could all stand. Shut up. I'm going to have to talk to you now because you won't be quiet. You're just of this, like, weird belief. You live in, like, you live in an alternate reality to your own wife. Yeah. Yeah. I just reamed you and your wife together. Oh, well. Oh, well. Go cry. Please do not say who that is if you know who it is. Keep your mouth shut. That would be polite. Thank you. But like what people don't understand is that going back to that is that words can hurt. You know, people like myself who have celiac disease and gastroparesis, that makes life very interesting, mm. especially in the throw in the endo too. That makes life extremely interesting because guess what? Those three diets are all very different. Mm -hmm. So yes, can you give yourself gastroparesis? Technically, yes. Is it common? No. And you got to be so careful when you're talking about these things or when you're telling someone, you know, okay, well, you need to lose. Don't tell anyone they need what kind of, can, and again, and again, telling someone to lose weight is also counterproductive because what you've done is you've turned that person's potential problem into their entire life. And Here's another thing, too. Even if someone, let's say, you know, they're an excessive drinker and they smoke a lot and they did the scenario I was describing earlier and they just skip dinner and the only thing they eat is a little bit of lunch and they just, you know, drink their dinner. Don't bring those people either for no. their lifestyle. Don't, don't, don't sit there and say, you need to change, you have to, and you must do it now. I mean, you, you can't, you just, you can't force people to change. It's just not something you can do. You know, and it's so sad to watch someone do that. You know, and, and the same serious XM talk show host is like, oh, well, you could just um, eat unhealthy for like a week. And then you could have gotten the COVID vaccine. And I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Yeah. You do not, and I ream this person because they should know better than that. Yeah. And like for someone like me, for my size, I'm a little overweight for me. I'm not going to say my weight because I honestly don't know what it is because I don't care. But in order to stay slim, I have to like move constantly, exercise a lot. And walk a lot, and I just can't realistically do that unless I'm working in a restaurant. I don't want to work in a restaurant anymore. Now, for someone like me, I'm gonna say something here. Wait, tr wait, trigger, switch to a different time. Maybe mm -hmm. this isn't the video for you. I'm a little underweight for my size, mm -hmm. but it's not my fault. It's because I was sick for so many years, and. I didn't even know it. Yeah, and if I cut out any more food from my diet, I would just be eating <laughs> sparkling water. And if she added more food to her diet, we'd go broke because she already eats so much. <laughs> now, we talked a little bit about EDS. And we talked a little about EDS on this channel. And talking about we may potentially have it. EDS is like being able to do this. Or this, or this, or you know, you know, or like like this kind of a thing, or 
being able to move your hand like that because they're over stretchy. Mm, we don't have an official diagnosis. We're just like, well, we are very bendy. <laughs> and endometriosis is part of that same gene mm -hmm. pool as is part of gastroparesis. Yeah. Now, that is a zebra disease. And we can, we've done a video about that, I think, once before. Mm. And we'll definitely be doing more. But we would need someone like Izzy or somebody to come on and really explain it to you. Yeah. But, like... You got to understand that in these situations of, you know, these people having these problems, it's not their fault. No. And I know we say that constantly. And there is a stupid CNN. Oh, look, you have your own playlist now. Um, person, personnel who continues to ream people for weight. And that needs to stop. That absolutely needs to stop. You, you have to stop. And... You know, I, I, I'm not trying to be, like, the total bitch in charge, but, you know, you are being very rude, you are being conceited, and your privilege is definitely showing. Mm -hmm. And you can't do that. You have to be careful because, again, you don't know if that person is sick or whatever. You don't know that. And that person may be your best friend. They may be your sister. They may be your brother. But you're not going to know their entire life story because no one is going to tell you. No. It's it's just an interesting disorder to have. And, again, don't feel bad for us. It's, it's just like a puzzle that you have to figure out. Like, ooh, what can I eat? And, I mean, it would be just like if you were on a diet that you had to try to prevent cancer or if you're vegan or vegetarian or you just really wanted to live a really healthy lifestyle you start checking all the ingredients and you concoct these different variations of dishes like we have these delicious um like lasagna that we make with um zucchini boats instead of pasta and you just say well i'm gonna have vegan cheese and i'm not putting cream in it and you know you put all gluten-free stuff in it and it's just, to me, it's just like, okay, second nature. I know, so they're, oh my god, it's so awful. I can't have the regular pasta. It makes life so miserable. Oh, oh no, I hate it. I just, I don't think about hating it. It's just part of life. It's like being short, not being able to reach top shelf. Well, gotta go to stool. Oh, you know. Again, I don't cry over it. We don't, it, there's so many different ways, that, like an accident, like you get into an accident and all of a sudden, you know, your vagus nerve is damaged in the accident. Yeah. That's how that works. I mean, believe it or not, mm -hmm. that is exactly how that works. Radiation, damage to the vagus nerve. Mm -hmm. Cancer, damage to the, to the vagus nerve. That's how it works. I'm just thankful that I'm still here and I'm thankful that I can go, you know, outside and go for a walk, take my dog out and... You know, that there are some foods that I can eat. But again, do never feel obligated to make sure that we can eat at a party because we don't really care. We're just like, oh, we can't eat. Okay, cool, fine, whatever. Yeah. If you guys have any further questions about this or how any of these other disorders that we appear to have or may have, gastroparesis, we know we have for sure. Mm -hmm. This is one we know we have. Yes. Um, let us know in the comments, and we will try to answer them. And if we can't answer them, I bet we know people that can. Mm -hmm. Please remember, this video is about our lives. This is our experience. This is not your experience. This is how we do it. You may be told something totally different than we are. Yes, Mindy, I stole your little uh, mm -hmm. um, warning. So, guys, we are going to end this video here because, you know, we still have, like, one more video about this. Maybe yeah. two. I'm not sure. I have to go look it up. Guys, please, please be kind in the comments. Do not tell us we are overweight or we are underweight. In fact, don't tell anyone they're overweight or underweight. That is just so important. If you liked this video, please make sure that you leave it a giant thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, don't think gastroparesis is real. I mean, you can click on the thumbs down button, but just be aware that it's going to give us ox it's going to give oxygen to the garbage because our channel is still going to get um, the, you know, interaction. You guys, we crossed the 670 mark, and that is something that is absolutely amazing. I don't know what is going on, but you need to keep smashing that subscribe button down below so we can monetize this channel. Now, here's how the monetization is going to work. You will need to watch 
You need to have 4,000 watch hours within the last year and 1,000 subscribers, an AdSense account, and Google has to approve your account. So it's not like that and, you know, it's it's puff, it's approved. No, 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 it doesn't work that way. It usually takes about a month. While you're down there, give that bell a giant ring by clicking all so that you know or maybe you know. If YouTube decides to tell you that we either went live or are posting a new video, generally post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, occasionally weekends or during the week, we need to have rallies because people don't understand what justice is anymore. We're all making up our own definitions. Oh, that's justice. Oh, no, that's justice. No, justice is not is one size fits all. Want to hear from us on Tuesdays? Now you can't because we have a podcast entitled Gavin with the Gala Sisters on movies and TV. We also have other social media. Follow us on Twitter at the Gala Sisters, Instagram at the Gala Fam, Facebook at the Gala Sisters. We also have a website at www.thegalasisters.com where we have three different blogs. We have bath bombs for sale. And if you like to read, definitely go check that out. We are going to update it soon. We've just been super busy over here with you guys, all of our rallies and stuff. And we also have a TikTok account. We have two, actually. So go follow us on there. We're having some fun over there. And make sure that you are sharing this video with your friends and getting the word out. And we thank you for subscribing and viewing this video. We will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye. Oh,